I'm 27 years old living with my brother James in a house we share. Never had anything severely strange or abnormal happen to me in my life. But there was this one week that I experienced this strange series of events. It started on what I thought would be a normal night, like any other. I was in the kitchen washing the dishes before getting ready for bed. Suddenly a plastic cup came crashing to the floor and the sound of it made me jump and spin around from the sink. I saw the blue plastic cup bounce a few times then fall dead on the floor. This was one of the cups that sits up top, the cabinet. I knew it had to have been sitting upright, though I had no idea what kind of force could have knocked it off the cabinet. It made no logical sense, I picked it up and put it back on the cabinet. That wasn't the last strange event that night, though while in bed with the blinds shut, there was suddenly a strange, very faint glow in my room. It came through the blinds I flipped over onto my side and tried to peek under the crack at the bottom of the blinds, but I couldn't see anything honestly as weird as it was. I was so comfortable in bed and was too lazy to go lift the blinds. I dismissed the light as something like a street light, having a new bulb or something I know a little ridiculous, but at the time I had no reason to suspect anything paranormal. The next day, I was home alone, when James was at work. It was a dark, stormy day and the house was constantly rumbling from the thunder. So when I heard a cup fall from the kitchen, I associated it with the thunder. I went to the kitchen to pick it up and realized it was the same blue plastic cup ID carefully put back on the cabinet. Yesterday there was no way thunder could have knocked it down from where it was. I put it on the counter and stood there confused and a bit shaken looking around the kitchen, not knowing what, what to think. As I was standing in the kitchen, I heard a creak in the floor above me. The room above me was actually my bedroom. I went to the stairs and called up for James, but I instantly remembered he wasn't home. Maybe it was the thunder shaking the whole house, but still I had to check my room just for peace of mind. I went up the stairs to my room and turned on the lights, given that all the rooms in the house were dark due to the weather. My room is square shaped with two big clocks. Downstairs that night when James got home, I had a discussion with him about the strange events that had been taking place. He said he hadn't been aware of any of it still. Nothing that happened up until that point was extremely unusual for the rest of the night. Things were normal and I fell asleep with ease. I awoke at some off hour in the night, it was still dark. I checked my phone. It was two in the morning. I rolled back on my side and shut my eyes when I heard the distinct sound of a finger tapping on a window. I could feel my heart in my throat I didn't know why someone would be knocking at my window, but I didn't want to see who could be out there. But for some reason, it took me that long to realize I was on the second floor of the house. Therefore, nobody could be on the outside of my window. I pushed the sheets off my body and fly to face the window window. There was no one standing there on the inside though, so I lifted the blind and there was no one outside either. Still, I knew that I heard what I heard and I knew I hadn't been imagining or dreaming it. I ran to my brother's room and started freaking out. I don't know whether he believed me or not, quite frankly. I don't think I'd believe me if I hadn't experienced it. I slept in the living room that night, and it's been three weeks now without any paranormal incidents. I never believed in the supernatural until this. Friends can subscribe to my channel. Open the notification bell and be aware of my videos. Thank you.